Hi, I'm Jill Fry, and today I'm going to show you how I do my star trail images using the Pluto trigger. So first up, what equipment are you going to need? You're going to need your camera, a wide angle lens, your Pluto trigger and a tripod. You will also of course need your phone to run the Pluto app. Now I suggest you set everything up during the day first and try out the Pluto trigger with the settings I'm going to show you. That way you will know that when you go out at night it will actually work and you're not fiddling around in the dark. You will also need to know how to take night shots. If you haven't already done so, head over to my YouTube channel and check out the three videos on how to do night photography. It's important that you know how to set up and take your night shot first before you start to do star trails. Once you've put your camera onto the bulb mode and dialed in your settings into your camera that you need for your star shots, then you need to turn on your phone. Open up your Pluto app on your phone and navigate to where it says Star Trails. The shots refers to the number of shots that you want to take. The exposure relates to how long you want the shutter to be open and in this case I want it to be open 20 seconds so that I can either use it as a single shot or I can convert all the shots into my star trails or a time lapse. The gap refers to the interval in between each shot. It needs to be one second otherwise it won't take the next shot. If you try and put it on zero when it comes to take the next shot it will fail to do so. The delay refers to when you want the actual time lapse to commence. So if you want to delay taking shots for an hour, you can dial in in hours, minutes and seconds when you want the time lapse to start. Then all you have to do is press the play button on your phone. So hopefully this has got you started in how to do your star trails with your Pluto trigger. You can of course use another type of involometer, but the Pluto I find is a great little tool to get this done. When you have successfully completed taking all your photos, in the next video I'll show you how to put them together to make your star trail. Thanks very much for watching and also please do subscribe and give me a like or a comment down below. I look forward to seeing you next time. Bye!